Hi everyone, it's Danielle Legier reporting from the home office of San Francisco Real Estate. Um, so in our latest blog post and newsletter, we talk about the SF Chronicles article um, that is pondering the pricing strategies, um, that they've noticed that more and more listings are selling over the asking price. And is this creating artificial demand? Is it a cruel pricing strategy? So let's talk about that a little bit. To the outside observer, yes, it is a little startling, and some people think it is deceptive and even cruel to list properties and have them sell for substantially, and I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes seven figures, over the eventual sales price. Like, what is going on with that? But to those of us in the industry, it's more along the lines of a return to business as usual. Um, you know, we're not quite in an everything's back to normal, but the real estate market is going back to the norms that it had before. Open houses, broker tours, offer dates, things like that. And it really is an open secret in the Bay Area real estate market that homes have always sold before over the asking price. Uh, so let me give you some of the numbers. Last year in San Francisco was an outlier. The ratio of sales above list price dipped to 44% in June and then down to 36% in January. That means that 44% of the listings still sold over the asking price, and then 36%. And then last month, it jumped up and to the right, and they went 63% of them sold over the asking price. But this is still a far cry from our norm, which is 75 to 80% of sales go for over the asking price in the last decade. And the last time we saw a dip from that was actually the Great Recession. So it's been a long time. And my original mentor who was selling real estate in the 70s told me that multiple offers and sales over the asking price was de rigueur back then too. So I don't see this going away anytime soon. And here's my advice to home buyers and sellers. Evaluate homes the way the agents do, the way the appraisers do. So focus heavily on current market pricing. Look at your recent comps and know that if there's an upward pressure on prices, then that comp is in the rear view mirror. Um, focus on pricing dynamics. Different agents have different reputations on how they list property, and that can really play out in what happens on a particular listing. And focus on the level of serious interest in this particular listing that you're looking for. You know, as a seller, the list price is truly your strongest marketing tool that you have in your toolbox. And you want a price to attract the widest net of possible and probable buyers. Remember, market value is very simple. Market value is what a ready, willing, and able buyer is ready, willing, and able to pay today. And that's it. So look beyond the price tag for the home's real value. Even tools, I hate to say it, but they've gotten a lot better, the online algorithms. And although the accuracy does vary widely from property to property and neighborhood to neighborhood, you know, check out what online algorithms have to say about the home's value to at least give you a rough ballpark. And if there's more than one that you look at, you'll want to compare them. And if they're very aligned, that says something. And if they're wildly different from each other, that says something else. But most importantly, and this is still very much the case, even though I'm clearly biased because I am a real estate agent who is paid to transact and represent buyers and represent sellers, but talk to your agent. Hopefully that's us, but if it's not us, talk to a qualified local real estate professional. We live and breathe this stuff. We have insider intel and we are not too busy to help um, no matter where you are in your real estate journey. So that's my riff for today. Um, as always, we would love to hear from you when it's time to buy or sell or you know someone who needs some help. And we'd also love to have you on our newsletter. It's twice a month. We don't sell or share the data and, and we just keep you informed and we try to be fun and lighthearted about it uh, too. So you can sign up on my website at daniellelegier.com and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.